So in the 1970s, um, we were in the height of the Cold War, and we were very interested in understanding whether or not our nominal foes in the universe were testing nuclear weapons. NASA uh, flew a gamma ray observatory with the purpose, it was a secret mission, and the purpose was to try and detect gamma rays from nuclear testing from other countries. We had launched a constellation of satellites called the Vela satellites to watch for these gamma ray pulses, and the Pentagon flipped out because they were seeing these gamma ray signatures every single day. And eventually someone's like, dudes, there's no way the Russians are setting off this many nuclear bombs every single day. Instead of catching gamma ray bursts from nuclear testing, they caught gamma ray bursts from the cosmos. They're like, okay, fine, we don't have to keep this a secret anymore. We'll tell the scientists and let the nerds go figure it out. We realize there are two types of gamma ray bursts. Some gamma ray bursts are really short. They're less than two seconds long. And some gamma ray bursts are really long. They're longer than two seconds. It took 30 years to understand what one type of gamma ray burst was, the long duration gamma ray bursts. And then there was another type of gamma ray burst, the short duration gamma ray burst. Whatever it is creating it has to be very tiny in size because if it was bigger, the signal wouldn't have time to get from one side of whatever's causing the gamma ray burst to the other side. Theoretical astrophysicists like myself have come up with a lot of hypotheses. We kind of zeroed in on this idea that maybe short gamma ray bursts are the collision of two neutron stars. But there was no proof. And no theory is worth anything if you cannot have observational confirmation. Well, the thing to do is to detect this thing in a telescope at the same time you detect a gravitational wave signal. If only we had an instrument that could detect gravitational wave signals. Oh wait, we have LIGO and Virgo, and look what's happened. This discovery is the first observational confirmation that a short gamma ray burst is associated with an actual neutron star merger. So this, more than anything else, is going to nail down this identity that we've always kind of had in the back of our heads, that short gamma ray bursts are neutron stars crashing together. And that now puzzle, 40 plus year old puzzle, is finally solved.